order. Could we uh, please, uh, um, let's do a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could we please start with a roll call? Yes, Mayor Coombs. Here. Council Members Bagley. Here. Christensen. Here. Finley. Here. Moore. Peck. Santos. Here. Mayor Coombs, we have a quorum. Okay, now we have the um, minutes from October 24th to approve. Council Member Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I move that we approve the minutes of October 24th. All right, that's been moved and seconded. Let's vote on that motion. Okay, it looks like uh, we have uh, all votes uh, for, and uh, council member, um, yeah, Moore is absent tonight. Yeah, so now it's time for uh, mayor and Council comments. Council Member Finley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. I just want to say that it has been a, a pleasure getting to know you and serving with you and Gabe and Council Member Moore. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything getting to know you guys, and I wish you all the best going forward. Uh, uh, you, you guys have done a great job, served our community well, and uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry, wait, wait, hand. Councilmember Bagley. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. Oh. Thank you, Mayor Coombs. It's a new system, by the way. It just was installed. Uh, I just want to say uh, I'm, uh, I, I said it before, but I'm going to really miss um, Mayor Coombs and Councilmember Santos and Councilmember Moore, who was not present. Um, uh, you guys served well, and, uh, and you're fun. So you will be missed. Thanks. Well, I guess I'll chime in here briefly. Uh, I will miss the city staff and how much they've helped me over the last six years. It's been a wonderful experience, and they've just been remarkable. I've loved my council teammates. And going through something like the flood together, that was quite a team-building experience. And I've enjoyed, you know, all of all of the things that we've worked on together. And even some of the things that didn't go my way, I was fine with that because I know that everybody always works to make what they think is the best decision for the best of Longmont, and that's all that really matters because I don't always know what's right. And sometimes having other opinions makes us make better, makes everything better for the city of Longmont. So anyway, I want to thank everybody that's helped me in my last six years, and uh, it's been a, a blast. And it's going to be fun not to be mayor, but I'm going to miss a lot about being mayor. And I just want to say. Thank you for this opportunity to everybody in this community and my council teammates and the city staff. It's been wonderful, so thank you. All right. Council Member Santos. Thank you, Mayor Coons. Wow. I, I wanted to try the new system. It's been 10 years since the, the last one when I first came on. Uh, no, uh, thank you to the staff. Thank you to the residents of Longmont for the last uh, nine-plus years who had their uh, – and trust me, with uh, with their uh, being their representative to the city, I really appreciate it. Again, as I said the last meeting we were at, thank you to the staff, and most importantly, thank you to my family. So thanks, dear. And uh, Tuesday nights are going to be, you know, maybe I'll, I'll cook a little bit more. All right, I guess now we'll move on to uh, public invited to be heard, and we've got uh, Jonathan Singers signed up. So. He's come down with your lovely daughter and <laughs> Hi, Jonathan Singer and Gwendolyn Singer, 2201 14th Avenue. Um, and I just wanted to um, say as, as a member of the public, not only as your state house representative from Longmont, but as a member of the public, thank you guys for your service. 
um, to those of you who are leaving Council Member Santos, um, as well as Council Member Moore, even though uh, he's not here today. Uh, we may not have agreed on everything, but the one thing we agreed on is we love the city and we all want to do what's right for it. And so, and to Mayor Coombs, what an interesting eight years it's been, hasn't it? Yes, you, it is. We've seen floods, <laughs> we, and, and we've seen economic development. Um, but at the end of the day, um, we've actually seen a city grow and become stronger. And that doesn't happen by accident. It happens through real effort. And thanks to staff for providing the cupcakes today. Um, my silent partner here certainly appreciates that. And to the incoming city council members, you've got a great staff. You've got a great staff. Please don't forget that. Use your staff here. Um, they, they're a wonderful resource, not only for council, but for citizens and state legislators alike. And with that, I'm going to leave it at that because I think this one might want to, you know, finish her cupcake. All right. but, <laughs> thank you. But thank you all for your service. All right. So now we're going to move on to swearing in the newly elected city council. Brian Bagley, do you solemnly swear that I, will uphold that I will that I will uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will uphold the the constitutions of the United States and the State of Colorado, and the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Longmont. And that I will faithfully perform the duties of Mayor of Longmont, of Mayor of Longmont to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. I, Polly Christensen, do solemnly swear that I will solemnly uphold the constitutions of the United States and the state of Colorado and the charter and ordinances of the city of Longmont, and I will faithfully perform the duties of the office of council member at large to the best of my ability. I, Aaron Rodriguez, do you solemnly swear that I will uphold the constitutions of the United States and the state of Colorado and the charter and ordinances of the city of Longmont, and I will faithfully perform the duties of the office of council member at large to the best of my ability.
I, Marsha Martin, do solemnly affirm that I will uphold the state constitutions of the United States and the state of Colorado and the charter and ordinances of the city of Longmont and that I will faithfully perform the duties of, council, of the Office of Council Member Ward 2 to the best of my ability. Councilmember Santos. Well, I don't know. He's getting the use. Of, well, yeah. this is the last time we get to use this new system. Mayor, I move that we, the current city council adjourn sine die. I'll second that. <laughs> Let's vote. And that passes six to zero with council member Jeff Moore absent. And we are done. I guess I got to decide that now, huh? All right. We're ready, I've decided. All right. I'd like to welcome everybody to tonight's uh, first city council meeting under our new uh, 2017 city council. So let's go ahead and just start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I want to point out we got one thing down. Unified, correct. All right, let's do a roll call. Uh, Mayor Bagley? Here. Council members Christensen? Here. Finley? Here. Martin? Here. Peck? Here. Rodriguez? Here. Mayor Bagley, we have a quorum. Thank you, thank you. And I've got a slight problem here. It's the, uh, my agenda's not coming up. Second, I'm just seeing the organizational, and I thought I'd made a copy. Well, we've uh, oh, got it. Thank you, thank you. Well, we didn't have. Well, we see, we screwed up. We didn't need to say the pledge, but it's a wonderful country we live in. <laughs> it's a wonderful, wonderful country we live in. All right, so let's go down to actually. Uh, uh, this time, I guess we're just going to go ahead and call the order of the new city council. And we've got two election items tonight. The first one is the election of a mayor pro tem. And then the second one is an appointment of city board members to city boards and commissions and to outside boards. And so uh, let's go ahead and start with the election of mayor pro tem. 
And uh, I didn't know what a mayor pro tem was when I was elected, but essentially we need somebody to basically hang out with the mayor and assist me in stuff. We also, more than anything, if I'm, not ab if I'm absent, uh, they take over and run the meeting and act as mayor. And then also, should I die, they become mayor. <laughs> Knock on wood. Don't get any, get it, don't get any ideas, Councilmember Finley. So uh, does anyone have any comments or suggestions, or do you want to just go right to a vote? Ah, Marsha Martin, Councilmember Martin. I would like to nominate Holly Christensen. Second. Okay. So let's go. I believe this is the only vote that is that we will ever take that is actually secret. So I believe we should get the ballots and vote. Holly Christensen, Holly Christensen, Holly Christensen, Holly Christensen, Holly Christensen, yes, and Holly Christensen. So Holly Christensen will be our mayor pro tem. And uh, the city staff actually asked if I could provide a seating arrangement. I wanted to hold off until we knew who the mayor pro tem would be. So we'll be sitting right here. If you don't mind. Um, at this, yeah, not tonight, but yeah, but yeah. As of tomorrow. And then uh, I guess my question here is we are set on the agenda for appointment of city council members to city boards and commissions. But I was told today that, Council Member Martin, you didn't get the, the email. So, my, right. so, my, so what I would propose is we actually wait till tomorrow that would allow Council Member Martin to take a look at it and you don't get stuck with all the bad boards. And anybody? I'm kidding. I was just kidding. What, what about what about you, Val? Do you have something to say? Val? Our city so clerk? there were a couple options in your agenda. One of them was to vote tonight. Move it to another meeting would be another one. You might also want to consider moving it to the 28th and then send me your choices, top five choices, and then actually that gives you a little more time to consider what you want to be on and then we can make those appointments on the 28th rather than tomorrow night. Mayor Pro Tem Christensen. Now I speak? Okay. Um, yeah, I do think we should wait at least till tomorrow night so Marsha has a chance to read it. And um, keep in mind that we'll, we will be having another member join us, and we're not sure when, but then we'll be probably re-examining this again. So. This is sort of provisional. I would rather get it done as early as possible because these boards are meeting, you know, all the time. But if other people want to put it off till the 28th, that's fine with me. Councilmember Peck. All right. Um, I move that we put off uh, appointing liaisons to the board and commissions until November 28th meeting. Do we have any debate on this particular issue? Then let's vote. The motion passes unanimously. Um, with that, we'll just go ahead and move on to public invited to be heard.
It's the end of the meeting, so pretty much anybody can say anything. We haven't screwed up too bad yet. Representative Singer, anything to say? All right, all right. Then if there's no... if the Strider. Uh, well, welcome, Mayor Bagley and new council of 2017. I'm Strider Benston, 951 West 17th. Um, I just want to give congratulations to uh, the elected members and also to our whole city of Longmont for uh, conducting uh, a mostly honorable and fair election. Uh, clearly fair and mostly, you know, I, I think it went uh, very well. Not all of my candidates uh, succeeded, but some of them did, and therefore. Um, <clears throat> the, um, uh, I think Longmont, at least in the 12 years I've been in this town, has mostly had a very honorable record of supporting the, uh, the issues and the, um, and the welfare and benefit of the entire population of Longmont. I expect and hope to continue that. And uh, we must be on our guard because there are serious forces in this country that are threatening the democratic foundations of our society. And uh, at least we can do everything possible to strengthen the idea and the function of democracy from the bottom up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Benson. Anyone else? All right, with that, we will move on to mayor and council comments. Council Member Finley. Thank you, Mayor Bagley. I just want to let you guys know I'm, I'm happy that we are a uh, new council and moving forward. I will not be able to be at our meeting tomorrow as I have to leave to go to National League of Cities. My meeting is early in the morning on Wednesday and I was unable to change my flight. But I know that you'll help our new mayor get through that first meeting with flying colors. And uh, congratulations to all of you. Councilmember Martin. Yes, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who helped me get here. And I'm very glad to be here. And I'm glad for the nice welcome. And I'm glad to see Citizen Benson in fine form tonight. And I uh, want to thank him for his welcome as well. So, Mayor Bagley, uh, let's get started. Sounds good to me. Council, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Christensen. That sounds odd, doesn't it? Well, anyway, um, <laughs> um, I want to thank everybody also who helped me get here uh, the first time and the second time. So thank you. And um, I wanted to welcome um, uh, Marsha Martin and Aaron Rodriguez to their seats and uh, Mayor Bagley to his. And um, Bonnie, I will see you at NLC when I recover from an all-night flight, <laughs> when we recover from an all-night flight. And Councilman Peck, it's always good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Councilmember Peck. Hit the button. Thank you, Mayor Bagley. Uh, I just want to say welcome to the new council. It's going to be exciting to continue the work that has made Longmont such an incredible place to live in. And I'm excited to work with you. So it's going to be fun. Let's go, Brian. Move it along. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Council Member Rodriguez, we are rolling with you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mayor Bagley. And thank you especially to everybody that helped uh, contribute and volunteered to my campaign. But at the same time, I just want to make sure it's abundantly clear that I will be a fair-minded and open uh, representative to all those that also did not vote for me and also those who are unable to vote. Um, so please feel free to contact me. You have an ear and you have a voice. And please, please, I look forward to serving you. And I'm very excited to work with my colleagues here on City Council. Thank you very much. 
uh, I guess I'll take the last slot. Um, uh, I want to say thank you, uh, first of all, to basically everyone who participated in this election. Um, whether you voted for me or not, um, I do realize I represent all of Longmont. We all represent all of Longmont. Um, and uh, I want to say thank you specifically to my wife, Yvonne, and my children. Um, they put up with my grumpiness and the stress for the last couple months, so I, I appreciate that. Um, everyone kept telling me, hey, it doesn't matter if you win or lose because you've still got a great family, and um, they, they are truly great. So I want to just say that. Um, the other thing is I'm extremely excited to work with this council. Um, they represent, some, I think, some of the most passionate, intelligent people that this community uh, has to offer. Um, I mean that sincerely. Um, they, uh, uh, in listening to the debates, their comments, reading their literature, um, I, I think the biggest challenge is going to be, you know, we've got uh, 2,000 pounds that we need to fit inside a 50-gallon 50, 50 drum. And uh, we've, got, we've just got a lot to accomplish. So I'm excited, looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully at the end of these two years, uh, we'll be able to look at each other and say fun times, good times. So thank you very much. And uh, city, uh, city Manager, any remarks? No comments, Mayor Council. C city Attorney, any remarks? No comments, Mayor Bagley. Wise man. Then we are, we are adjourned.